viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. So, I'm going to show you guys two videos so that you can compare and contrast. Most of our followers here, they live abroad. So, they can testify to those videos. They can testify how um, foreign policemen treat people over there, you understand? Now, no police force is perfect. Just have that in the back of your mind. Because if they were, we will not be having Black Lives Matters, I Can't Breathe kind of saga. You get my point? So, but what we are trying to say is that majority of the time, or this is exactly what you should expect when you meet a police officer. This is what we expect when one have an encounter with a police officer. Absolutely unreal. You know what? I actually do think that this some form of profiling. Do you all not believe that a black woman can drive a $250,000 truck? I mean, no idea how much this truck's working out. Okay, yeah, well, we're just I, doing our job. We're just doing well, our I job. I want you to do your job, but I, I assure you, know, you I wasn't doing any drugs. You're not search like, earlier. We wouldn't have to help. Yo, what's up? Hey, so please come over here. This, this is unreal. Oh, this is my car. I'm Chase. My name is Chase. This is my car. License, but she didn't have the insurance form. You can, you can check the insurance from the license plate, though. Like we just make sure that is everything added up. There's my insurance, there's the card. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, we could have had this all done, but all you had to do is let us search the vehicle. Why do you There's have no dog? reason for you to search this vehicle. You had no probable cause to I search the vehicle. Marijuana no, you cannot smell marijuana. I don't even marijuana. smoke weed, bro, so you don't, you don't, you did not smell marijuana. Did the dog smell marijuana? At because this time, at no point. He's leaving. You know? So clearly there was no marijuana in the car. So somebody's lying. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Um, you have a good day. You. I'm sorry about this, sir. But, yeah, you should be. Like, doing our job this don't make no sense, though. I appreciate you showing up and bringing the registration. Yeah, this is a real crime. I'm saying, I pay my taxes. I pay mine, too. A lot of great. A lot of it. It take care of both y'all salary combined and more. So I just don't appreciate y'all stopping her for nothing. And then saying that you got Drag probable cause. Lane. Like yeah, probable cause. So there like was I no just, probable cause. I don't even smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke nothing. Well, we need to check. You know, you Man. might need to check who you're hanging out with. Man, you know, because right now you either you have somebody in there smoking marijuana when you're not with them, that dog or she's been smoking smell marijuana. Anything. I'm just saying, still I can smell it. I can smell it when I came to the vehicle. No, you could not smell she did not want to let us search the vehicle. Yeah. So when she did not let us uh, allow us to search the vehicle, we had to bring a unit in for the canine. Okay. And the canine came around and checked, and y'all seemed like y'all fine to go right now. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to figure out. Are you finished? I'm looking at my watch and I'm trying to see if y'all are finished. Are you done, Alfredo? We're finished. Okay. Good. Good. Great. Have a good day. Great. Thank you. You have a good day. We got little man syndrome, bro. I don't know what is going on. An absolute chase. I was not speeding in your car. They had no, I just want to let you know that. No, I believe you. Because they didn't give you a ticket, right? They did not give me a ticket. And the dog clearly just went back to his merry way. Just for nothing. That's ridiculous. Man. Absolutely not. Okay. That's ridiculous. But I got their badge numbers. All right. So I'm so sorry. What, 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 what why are you in the Sprinter? Oh, that's my Atlanta grip truck Sprinter. That's my, you know. Oh, you're working. I'm have so a great sorry. Day. You have a great day. You have a great day as well. I'm sorry to stop you from working. You're I good. Didn't you're good. You're good. I'm good. I'm so sorry about this. It's hot. I'm aggravated. It's good. You're good. Marijuana. Do I look like I smoke marijuana? No, you don't. You don't want me to look like an attorney. No, I'm kidding. Chase, not, not okay. the time. Not the time. Hop in. Okay. Let me get on my get on my way back to the office. Thank you so much, Chase, and thanks for coming up here so quickly. I appreciate right. it. Call me if you need anything. I will. All right. You have a great one. Talk about some John You can see in the first video that these police officers were very, very respectful and civil, and that is what you should expect when you encounter this man on the road. Civility, respectful, have a decent conversation, talk.
You get my point? Then now you watch the second video. What did you see? An animalistic behavior from the policeman. Treating a fellow human being because he's putting on a uniform and holding a gun. Flogging a man and slapping him on the face. Mind you, that slap, you see slap on the face, is the biggest disrespect you can ever give anybody. Not to talk of your fellow man giving you slap, tawai, tawai, because he's putting on a uniform. Something that a decent conversation can trust. Something that you people can talk out. We have seen a lot of abuse of powers among these policemen. We have seen it a lot. Because of them, they started NSAS. Because of them, they've done a lot of protests in Nigeria. But are we saying, is there any difference? Now you see a policeman brutalizing a man that is unarmed, that did nothing. Something you could just trash out. You stop people on the road, you harass them, you brutalize them, you treat them anyhow. Even animals are treated better. The next thing that they will tell us that, yes, he has been dismissed. We don't know when he was dismissed. Maybe they just, he just changed location. They will tell us that he has been dismissed from the police force. We need a total overhaul of policemen in Nigeria. Change! If they cannot see different, maybe when they see videos like this, they will know how to treat human beings. They will know that you can actually disagree, but in a respectful manner, have a decent conversation. You talk. So we even threaten you with gone. If you do anything, I will shoot you. I will do this. That's animalistic behavior, if you ask me. Now, my people, tell me, have you encountered anything like this in Nigeria? And also tell me your encounter if you live abroad with policemen in abroad. I, I want to know. Let's know if this thing, whether we are just talking too much or we are demanding too much. We are just demanding for respect from police force that you should respect people, you treat them well. If you want papers, they can easily give you, okay, I want this paper, I want this paper, I want this paper. This car was reported, can we see? Not shouting like, like untrained. In fact, zoo is even better. Like people that are living inside jungle, survival of the fittest. It's, it's, it's nauseating to see, it is irritating to see. These people that we hold in high esteem, they behave anyhow they want. They do anyhow they like. It is nauseating and irritating. And this go back to what we tried to do in 2020 about NSAS. We talked, you know, when they were doing NSAS, they didn't know that they were trying to help them. Trust me, the policemen didn't know that they were trying to help them. Now, you ask me how. How is, we demanded for their salary to be increased. We demanded that all barracks should be re uh, renovated and, you know, and policemen should be treated well. Because when someone is treated well, someone receives good salary, he will not pour out his frustration on general masses that are just going about their business. It's frustration. Imagine someone earning a lot of money as a policeman. He will not behave that way. He will not behave like an animal. He will not treat people anyhow he wants because he's holding an AK-47. He won't do that. He said he will be of all smiles, talking to you well and treating you better. So that is our demand. Change this man's life. Give them a proper training. Increase their salary. Rebrand their, their, their life. Renovate where they are living. Their living condition is so terrible. The, the, the barrel close to my house is nothing to write home, and, uh, write home about. Even chicken that I'm training. Me, I'm not going to put my chicken in that place. It's bad. All those things can cause frustration. When someone has beat their head with that black and black that they're wearing and everything, they come back, they come outside like this. Their head is hot. Inside house is hot. Everywhere is hot. Toilet is not neat. Road is bad. When everything has jagged, jagged, the system is scattered. They will not pack all their frustration and pour on people. We have seen a lot of, of it, a lot of it happen, and a lot of people have lost their life because of all these kind of things. Federal government needs to do better. Please, we are begging. If it has come to this point, so that people can go about their normal business without fear for their lives or fear of being harassed or treated by people who should be protecting them. Anyway, that's my take on this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also tell me your thoughts. And don't forget the assignment I gave you. Tell me if you have encountered police brutality anywhere around the world that you are living. Let us know. And let's keep talking until the writing is done. I remain your, your beautiful host, Queen Madu. Until I come your way next time, stay well, stay safe, stay out of trouble. Bye.